morning everybody um today i'm gonna be making a video that has been requested several times from a lot of my viewers and it is bottle cap magnets these are one of my favorite things to sell in my booth um, i usually charge a dollar or six for five bucks they sell really well i work a lot of brew fests and stuff like that and you know i always joke to people like this is probably one of the only things you can get here for a dollar or you know we drank all this beer you know get conversations started make them laugh um, you know and these are a real easy sell it's also you know an inexpensive small little project that you can do um, that, to draw people into your booth and then hopefully you know they shop a little more and make a larger purchase um, so these are kind of like when I'm doing my shows these magnets are kind of like my bait you know I put them out at the front of the booth people stop and look at them it gives them an opportunity you know to chat them up um, and have a conversation and um, you know you can't sell anything if you don't talk to people so these really are a great conversation starter um, there's a couple things you're gonna need you know the best thing you can have is an alcoholic who drinks a whole bunch of beer so you've got an endless supply of beer caps um, but if you don't have an alcoholic in your life you can purchase these at the store though the one reason I really like doing this project is because um, um, it's low cost you know we drink a lot of beer me and my neighbors you know we keep the bottle caps in the in in like mason jars and stuff so when it comes time for me to sit down and make some magnets I have a lifetime supply you know I don't I probably wouldn't make these if I actually had to go to the store and buy the bottle caps I really enjoy that these are a recycled product you know I do them with my daycare kids a lot as well um, and we use this as you know what a, a craft where we talk about using recycled materials here's some that I've done with them where um, we just took sequins and buttons and and you know they've done glitter and different things that they put in them we cut out some word we'd written some words like wish and create and stuff like that on um, uh, just on regular old uh, printer paper printed it out cut out the little tiny words and had a little table spread out with our preschoolers where they could pick sequins and buttons and glitter and different words and put them in the bottle caps and then you know we fixed them up and we actually sold these as a little fundraiser um, for the daycare one year and did really well with it um, so it's a really fun project you know you don't have to turn them into magnets you could you could potentially like put them on clips and make you know hair clips or maybe make keychains any number of things um, but the, the things you're gonna to need um, to get this nice you know clear clear plasticky look is called um, casting resin so there's a couple different options um, you can buy like a two-part like this a two-part um, casting resin that you mix together or Mod Podge has come out with this great um, it's called dimensional magic this is kind of like the exact same thing but in one tube and I'll show you how this one works as well the there is quite a cost difference though so if you're gonna be doing this for a craft show like I do I prefer to buy these you know you can get two of these for probably Probably about they come in a set for like 25 bucks I think I paid for these and I bought them um, you know at a craft store that had like a 40% off coupon um, so I did good on that these will last a long time you can make a couple hundred magnets with this method this I believe was 650 by itself um, and this would make um, a handful of magnets you know it might make 50 magnets or so um, so cost wise you know if you're if you're gonna be selling these you're worried about your overhead this is definitely the more cost efficient way to go if you just want to make a couple you need a quick easy project you know a day or two before your craft show or you're just making them for gifts then you know something like this is worth paying for the convenience um, the next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some kind of decent glue I really like Loctite you only need a tiny bit it sticks really good it dries super fast don't get it on your skin um, or you will be glued to yourself um, and then you need some good sturdy magnets I like these you know these nice heavy-duty like leaded button magnets um, you can get these at Walmart you can get them at a craft store you can get them on Amazon just make sure when you order on Amazon um, you check the size you know you want the good chunky ones I've ordered before where they looked like they were this size and they were actually quite a bit smaller um, but when I sell these magnets to people that's one of the things they always comment on is they're a nice sturdy magnet and my little sales pitches I always say um, you know if it'll hold my credit card bill to the fridge you know it's a good magnet and you know that usually gets a laugh out of people um, so 
the let's see what else would you need other than that is you're gonna need something to fill the magnets with I've used um, I've gone through old magazines like Civil War magazines this one is a Civil War soldier because we live here in Fredericksburg you know which is a big uh, Civil War area so stuff like that sells well um, I've used stuff this one I believe was um, from a fabric catalog so I used one of these you know one inch circle punchers also for years before before I bought a circle puncher I just cut out little circles with scissors you know I would take um, a, one of these and I would just trace a circle with a ballpoint pen on a magazine and cut it out so I've been making these for uh, probably 16 or 17 years now and they've always done really well um, one nice thing is you know something like um, if you're only gonna make a couple or you just want to make a special gift for a friend like this was a birthday card my mom sent me and that little turtle right there would make a perfect magnet. That's the nice thing about these hole punchers. If you have one of these, is you can really see what it's going to look like. So we'll pop that sucker out. So something like this would be awesome, you know, and you just stick it in there. Um, I've also, another one that I've done that sells really well is um, I used to subscribe to this Victorian home magazine and they would always have a Christmas edition and it had all these old like Victorian Christmas images. Here, this one, hopefully you can see, I did this outside so it'd be lighter, is an old Victorian snowman. And the pe there are people that, you know, love to collect Christmas stuff. And I had one guy come in and bought every single Christmas magnet I had he bought 26 magnets you know and the other thing I like to look for is sometimes when we get different kinds of beers you know then you get different colored caps which is cool like this one is a hardywood pills it's got this nice green cap and then I put in a little um, uh, cactus and succulent which looks really good I think so um, anything you want to put in there you know the sky is the limit the one thing you want to keep in mind is the thicker like the paper the better the magnets gonna come out one of the main problems you have um, is if you're using something like different magazines and stuff always keep in mind that probably about 10% of the magnets aren't gonna they're not gonna settle right or um, you may have some issues with saturation like this one as you can see the little dots in the background this was you know clear white and it has a little tomato and a little I think it's a little cabbage or a lime or something little characters I probably got this out of like a highlights magazine you know anything fun will work and um, but the one thing about magazine paper is every once in a while especially if it's a lighter color um, the you know the epoxy or whatever the resin is will saturate the paper and you'll end up with this kind of splotchy look sometimes it looks okay sometimes it doesn't like this one it really this used to be white and you can see where the lighter color is and when it saturated it it made it dark and so this one you know is isn't usable um, but you know when it's something like a thicker paper like this and it's a nice bright color um, they come out looking awesome here's a couple really good ones you can see and they sell so well um, and they're just bright and fun and colorful, you know, and they make great gifts, stocking stuffers at Christmas time. I sell a ton of these at Christmas time. So like I said, you know, magazines work really well. You can print things out on printer paper, but that again is gonna be um, a thinner paper. So you'll have to be careful. You may lose some for saturation. Um, cardstock works amazing. And then last year um, when I was in um, Hobby Lobby, out of nowhere, they were selling these stickers. And I was like, and it's even says trendy bottle cap so I'm like okay I've been making these for 20 years somebody must have caught on these are awesome so they are just the size of the bottle cap they're a nice sturdy sticker they're not very you know they're they're fairly um, you know like cardstock uh, and they're sticky so you can just stick it in there and they stay um, and then all you have to do is put the epoxy on them in the past when I've worked with um, some lighter weight materials like magazine papers um, one of the other troubleshooting issues you may have is sometimes the images will float to the surface of the epoxy um, and these heavier duty ones with a little bit of stick on them that seems to help that problem a lot they're less likely to float to the surface um, the other issue you may have is um, aside from saturation or sometimes the image floating to the surface but even this one I don't know if you can see it. The image is had floated to the surface on one side. It's a little lopsided. It's still a cool magnet. It's still sellable. But every once in a while, you'll get one where it floats out at like here. And hopefully you can see this. 
this part here floated up and didn't get covered by the epoxy. So those are the couple issues that you'll have. And if you don't mix, if you do the two part mix and you don't mix it properly, it will not um, dry properly and it will be tacky. So this one here, as you can see, is tacky. Um, so this one, you know, can't be sold. Those are your main issues. But overall, like I said, you may only get probably about 10% of them um, may have like funky little things that you may choose not to sell them. Um, but with these, you know, nice cardboard stickers that I've done, bought or, you know, any kind of like thicker cardstock, um, the results come out a lot better. Um, so I tend to have way less um, that have issues. But this isn't a foolproof craft, so no matter what, you know, just keep in mind that make a little bit more than you need because probably a couple of them, you know, are going to end up in the trash can or can be repurposed for another craft. So anyways, I'm going to swing you around um, and I'm going to show you the table here and let you see how I make these magnets.